Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Kaz. And we're Crafty Caravanners. Today's video, we've taken up the Johnson's Mudlarking Challenge. Here's a list of 10 items that Phil and Caroline have challenged people to find in one mudlark. To see how well we did, watch this video. Here we are at Beachley Beach, just underneath the Severn Crossing Bridge and looking over the River Severn. We won't be able to resist a little bit of plain old pattern here. Oh, unexpectedly patterned, quite nice at that. Funny looking metal thing. No, I don't think it is metal at all. This is a bizarre thing. It seems to be plastic or rubber on the outside and some kind of stone in the middle. Who knows? We'll look it up when we get home. One of these days we'll remember to pack the UV torch. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece of yellow. It may or may not be uranium. We'll find out when we get home. I found a brick and this one has writing on it. It's like a W and perhaps an H. But definitely a brick with writing on, so we can check one item off of the checklist. Not one on the list, but nonetheless an interesting looking piece. It's like a lime green or jade coloured milk glass. Now that looks like it might be the top of an old fashioned screw cap. Something like that. And that looks like a glass bottle with writing on it. I don't think it's complete. Not even close to being complete. Oh, and Karen shouting to me that she found a piece of willow. Here is the new seawall. It looks like it's largely finished. But what's actually happened now, at the junction between the bit that sticks out and the wall, um, is a, it's a kind of shelf where there's all bits and pieces of everything. And in there, that looks like one of our items on the list. I don't want to lose it, so... Have you got it? That's a piece of willow pattern. Oh, it sure is. Excellent. Does this bit of pipe count? Hmm, possibly not. What you got there? A bit of a vase, maybe? Yep. Now that looks like an interesting piece of green glass down here. You know, at one point that might have been a, it might have been a jar. Small enough to have been, isn't it? I've got a beautiful find here, I think. Not so, even got a lip on it. No lip, so what and do you think that is? Old cork. It's got the old cork in it. Oh, marvellous. It looks like the bottom of a bottle. Is it old? Is it worth keeping? What do you do with it? I'm not sure. Leave it. Well, it looks like the bottom of an old Coca-Cola bottle. An old flower pot. Hole in the bottom for the drainage. Yep. Terracotta. Nice. Oh, this might be a bit of pirate glass here. We're going to have that one. Do you want me to hold it up to the sun? Oh, you can see at the bottom there, there is a little bit of light coming through. Tiny bit of blue and white pottery down there. There it is. And there's a piece of milk glass. Oh, beautiful. Yep, it's whole. Oh my God. I think we're going to have to use one of our inventions here. Yep. I am not going anywhere near that water. This invention proved to be of not much practical use. Next time, we're going to be taking a sports bottle, which closes as well as squirts. We got water all over the inside of our finds bag. Not ideal. Right, so what is that? That. That is a piece of pipe stem. I believe that was one of the items on the list. Lovely job. Tiny piece, it's about an inch long. That'll keep me happy. Another partial piece of bottle with embossed writing on it. Take this one home and give it a read. That looks like an old piece of wood, perhaps something to do with power distribution, something like that, I'm not quite sure what. But as Kaz came here to investigate this thing, we found a couple of other things lying around which are also quite interesting. Now that's a piece of willow pattern. 
Lovely. Yep, that's nice. Something else, bright green that's just st sticking out over here. Yeah, I think that's a piece of a fishing float. And over there, an antique Coke bottle. Well, we're going to say it's antique, why not? There we are. So that's the second piece of pipe stem of today. Excellent. Oh, that's nice. It's an old one. It is. Shame it doesn't have a vulcanite stopper in it, doesn't it? Very small little. Uh, small thing. opening, yeah. I see a blue bottle top. A blue piece of glass, that is, at the top of the bottle. Smashed up. Oh, what's that there? Is that the top of the bottle? Oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, over here, next to this piece of seaweed, is a great big old uh, bottle top. I'm not sure if that's modern or not. Look at that. Got bubbles in it, doesn't it? Nice. Ha! Ah, I see a Vulcanite bottle stopper in the neck of a bottle. Oh my god! <laughs> Is it? It's got writing on it. Sherry. Oh, it might be a oh, cork. It's a cork. No? I'm not sure what that is. Is it rubber or vulcanite? Okay, a bit of pipe stem. Yep, bit number three. Lovely. Looks like a piece of lavender glass down there. Ooh, that's rare. Is it rare? All right, let's have. <laughs> okay, let me just get the um, lavender glass here. Yep. Nice and a great big old. Bottle top, and Kaz is saying she's found a paste pot. Our first one ever. Now, not only is this, <laughs> yeah, as well, I think. it's our first paste pot find ever, but this is also one of the items on today's list. Excellent. Is it a Shippums? It is. Excellent. Yeah. Well chuffed. Well chuffed. Excellent. Our first one. I'm going to take him because I take like the Yep. Just bottleneck after bottleneck down here, isn't there? Well, it's probably something to do with the fact that the building up there is currently a business centre, but it used to be a pub, the Ferry Inn. So I'd like to imagine that some of the things we're finding are bits and pieces from the pub. What's that? No idea. Take that. It's a lid off of a doll's... Like a little teapot or something? Like a little teapot from a doll's tea set. Nice. Yeah, that could count as a toy easily. A little piece of blue down here. More bottle glass with writing on it. Wood, perhaps. That looks like an old Vicks nasal inhaler. It does, doesn't it? Again, plastic, it doesn't belong on the beach, so uh, I'll okay. take that home for it away. Cool. Another bit of pipe stem. Well done, I can see it. Oopsie, dropped it. There we are. What's a beachcomb or a mudlock without a piece of ridge pottery? There we go. A very muddy piece of of ridge pottery there. Oh, that didn't help. There's a ridge there. And a ridge there. Yep. That's nice. More bottle glass with writing on it. I think that's part of an old pub ashtray. Bit of blue down here. 
tiny but blue. There's a bit of porcelain. I'm happy not to investigate it at all. That looks very much like it belonged in an old toilet. It's a nice bit of pale pink glass. Quite sharp looking, but we'll we'll have that anyway. That could be put in the tumbler, tumbler and polished. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. definitely a muddy trip out today. Yeah. State of me. It's called mud logging for a reason, and it, you know, even though we at something which is called a beach, it's just full of mud. Oh look, a car on the jetty. You know what, I think you might have missed the last ferry, mate. The last ferry sailed in 1966. This picture from 1964 shows the Severn Bridge still under construction. Cass has just found something that's sort of... semi-exciting. But look down there. Oh -ho -ho. There we go. That's almost, and it could be Feather Edge. Just hold it still. Yeah, I think that's what they call Feather Edge. Piece of lens glass, I want to say. Lens from some kind of, oh, who knows, vehicle or something. Being caravanners, why do I have the urge to plug the world's biggest caravan into one of these blue things? You know, that's bigger than my hand. I don't think it, it's not caravan electric, is it? <laughs> this could be quite a mean piece to play plain or pattern with. Just that tiny little bit of pattern in the corner there. The bottom off of something. Bottle. It's jar. It's square. It was rectangular with curved sides. Yeah, it could be a booze bottle. A nice bit of red. Nice bit of red. I'm not going to do the tooth test until I've washed it, but I think it's glass. <laughs> What do you think? Modern I think it's modern art or a bit of plumbing. Maybe both. Well, no, we could turn it into modern art, couldn't we? We, th we could turn it into modern art. That green is eye catching. Oh, you know what? I think it's more of that like jade sort of coloured milk glass. Nice. We'll see if it glows. Oh, you got quite a handful there. Lovely. Interesting colours. Colourful item of something. It feels oh, quite nice. thick. Another piece of pipe stem. Yay. Quite a chunky one, that one. What's under here? What's that you're saying? You can't wait to have your hair cut? It's flopping in my face. <laughs> it's flopping in your face? Oh dear. <laughs> Part of a fruit bowl or something? Yeah, I reckon. Okay. Nice. A punch bowl. Something like that. Got a piece of green there. Yes, please. It's unusual. Can, can you get it then? Nice piece of green. Nice wishing stone as well. Are we collecting them now? We can take one home with us. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Cool. This, this one we'll keep for ourselves. Okay. All right, it looks like the rain's going to be coming in. Not to mention the tide down there. So it's time for us to get off the beach and get home. Pipe stem. It's quite a nice long piece. Pipe heel. Excellent. We just about put everything down, ready to go back to the car. I can see these pipes, Sam. Um. 
and a tiny piece of pipe stem to go with the heel. And just as we came off the jetty, behind the fence, there is a tennis ball. We can't get to it, but we're going to claim this one as one of the... We found it. Yeah, we found it. Here we have today's finds. Let's go through the list and see what we can tick off. Number one, vulcanized stopper. Well, we did find a sherry stopper. It's, I don't know what it's made of. It's, it's probably hard plastic, but whether it's vulcanate or not, I don't know. Um, and it has real cork in it. So I'm not quite sure whether our sherry stopper class is classed as a vulcanite stopper or not but um, that's the closest we found to a vulcanite stopper if not number two a meat paste jar we've not found one of these up to date and i have to say that i didn't expect to find one today either but by jove we did and it's a nice little shipham's paste pot too not a dink in it so very proud with this little find very happy Number three, Marmite or Bovril jar. No, we didn't find anything like a Marmite or a Bovril jar, unfortunately. A ball. Yes, we did find a ball. Unfortunately, we couldn't physically get to it because there was a fence in the way, but um, we found a ball. A toy. Now, this item here, I think, is the top off of a child's um, doll tea set. And if that's the case, then um, that would be a toy. If anybody has any other ideas as to what this could be, then please let us know in the comments below. Number six, a bottle with embossed writing. Now we did suffer with this one. We haven't found a whole bottle with embossed writing. However, we have found parts of bottles with embossed writing on it, as you can see. So bottleneck and some embossed writing here. It's some, I, I, I'm thinking it's from a milk bottle because that looks like it could say dairies. Um, some other parts of bottles that we found with um, embossing on. That one says wood. I'm not sure what this one says, but it has got a bit of embossing on there. And another piece of bottle here, which um, again, can't really tell what all of it says, but it has writing on it. So again, not sure whether this is classed as having found a bottle with embossed writing or not, but we enjoyed finding the stuff anyway. Number seven, a brick. Yes, we found a brick. No, we didn't bring it home with us because we have no need for it. So this is a photo of the brick that we did find. Number eight, a coloured glass bottle. Again, we didn't find a whole bottle. We have the neck of a bottle here, which is an aqua colour. And I am going to have a quick research after this. Um, I'm wondering if this is the top of a cod bottle. Also, we have the neck of a tiny blue bottle so again it's a coloured bottle part of just the neck number nine was willow pattern china shard and if you look amongst our little collection of blue and white that we found that's definitely a piece of willow I'm not sure if that is or not or whether it's just a willow inspired pattern, but we definitely have one piece. Again, that might also be a piece of willow pattern as well. And number 10, pipe stem or bowl. We have got lots of bits of pipe stem here. This piece here even has the heel and you can see where the bowl attached to the piece of stem 
we found plenty of pieces of pipe stem today. So all in all, not too bad. Not the best it could have been, but you know, it depends where you go and the luck of the day. So I'm really pleased with what we found. And then I'm just gonna show you a couple of other pieces that we found today. I really like this piece of bottle. It's a neck of a bottle and it's even got the old cork in it. I just really like that. Found another, what looks like a piece of bottleneck, but it looks like it's got two, two rims. I don't know. Has anybody ever seen anything like this? Do you know what this has come from? If anybody does know what this is, then please leave a comment below. That would be great. Another first for us was a milk glass jar. Um, I can't see a manufacturer's name on the bottom. Um, it does say 19 and a little mark up there, but again, absolutely pristine, not a dink in it. So I'm really very happy with this. I'm going to use this to put my acrylic paints in when I'm uh, doing my pebble work. Here, as Pete said, a devil's toenail, which uh, we found on the beach. And what would a mudlark be without finding a piece of ridge pottery? So that would have come from a jam jar. Found some very nice chunks of um, cut glass. So I don't know whether they've come from fruit bowls or punch bowls, but um, I've got several shards from that. Very nice. Also found some pirate's glass. Lovely and thick and chunky. And this piece is, this is obviously the bottom of a bottle. But that's a thick old piece of pirate's glass. Very nice, happy with that one. Got some lovely little pieces of glass here. So we've got some yellowy colors and some blues and greens. Even got a really pretty pink piece here, which is unusual. And I have a rather larger piece of what looks a bit like violet glass. And as you can see, it's got embossing on it, a little pattern. So that's nice. Then over here we have some random finds. So we found a cassette. For those of you born after the noughties, you probably don't even know what a cassette is. This is what we used to listen to music from. <laughs> this is quite gross, but I did find what appears to be a old Vicks nasal inhaler. We also found the bit of a fishing float. And an old ever ready battery. Pete mentioned this in the video. Um, we still have absolutely no idea what this is. It does feel like a piece of stone in the middle and it is surrounded by some kind of plastic on the outside. If anyone has got any idea what this is, then please let us know. And finally, some kind of plumbing equipment, I imagine. But I wondered if I could turn this into some kind of modern art. So I'm going to keep this and someday I may make something with it. So there we have it, a brief whistle stop tour of our items that we found today. Almost forgot, we need to check our collection for fluorescence, which I've already done. So I'm going to point the torch straight at the two items which do this. There we go, that little piece of lime coloured milk glass appearing stuff, very strong fluorescence and the fishing float. Thank you for watching today's video. We would now like to nominate two more channels to take up the challenge. The first channel we nominate will be Adam's Advanced Adventures and the second channel we nominate will be James Archard. 
We hope you guys enjoy doing the challenge as much as we did. It wasn't about how many items we could get really, was it? It was just a day's mudlarking and we took the list along. Mm -hmm. We had some nice surprises and we got one of our very own um, personal bucket list items as well, didn't we? We did, so, yeah. Um, the Shippum's paste pot was a, was a very good find for us. And also the ponds, I'm not sure that it was ponds, but the milk glass jar, which was complete as well, both with no dinks. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.